much. So it's, uh, it's great to be here. It's great to be here with so many, uh, many other cryptographers. I feel, feel very much at home. Um, it makes it a lot easier when people ask what I do to actually explain what I do. Because, you know, people here know what cryptology is and uh, what cryptography is. And, I mean, that actually is not always the case in the real world. I've often had the issue where someone asks, what do you do? I say, well, I do research in, um, uh, in cryptography. And they say, oh, wow, that's so interesting. I, I didn't realize there was a research field in photography. So is that, like, related to light? Or how does that work? Um, so, so anyway, after a while, I decided, okay, maybe, 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 maybe I should uh, try to find a synonym and say instead of um, cryptology, uh, 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 cryptography, say, uh, say cryptology. So um, I tried that instead, and usually it works a lot. Like if people know what it is, it's fine, and otherwise I can explain it. But every once in a while, I get someone that says, oh. Uh, how do you actually study imaginary animals? Because apparently cryptology it sounds a lot like cryptzoology, which is apparently the study of imaginary animals. <laughs> so anyway, from uh, from now on, I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna commit to uh, simply saying cryptography because I mean I like photography, and uh, so I'd rather be be associated uh, with that than the study of imaginary animals. So um, anyway, uh, speaking of, uh, of commitments, um, so yeah, my ex said I had, uh, had commitment issues, and I, I didn't really understand why. Because, I mean, I, I usually do work in uh, maliciously secure uh, computation, so it means I always commit to, to both input and randomness and transcripts and, and everything that's basically, uh, basically going on. So it took me a while to actually realize what the problem was. The problem is that I always do homomorphic commitments. So this basically means that, uh, you know, I would commit to something, say, moving in together, and um, then have another commitment to a date, which was apparently a bit too far in the future. And then when you actually open them both combined, it turns into something not so desirable. <laughs> So anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm done with homomorphic commitment, uh, commitments. It's, um, that, that, that's a done thing now. I'm, I'm going to learn, learn my lesson from that. So, so now I've uh, started just to, um, to work with uh, purely uh, extractable commitments. But, uh, but basically, that's, um, I still do you know, maliciously secure things. And so, uh, so that often involves uh, needing to do some sort of zero knowledge on top of that. Uh, so let's see how that works, because what could possibly go wrong with, uh, with commitments and, and uh, relationship and someone having zero knowledge of what's actually going on and what you're doing? So yeah, anyway, that's it. <laughs> uh -huh.